what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm modi j and we are locked in this is episode four of atlanta and it's called light skin so it's a lot of family stuff coming on and one of the aunties she just ain't feeling it because she thinks everybody is turned against her now we know atlanta is a comedy very short but each episode is different so let's go ahead and jump into this but before we do if you like atlanta content breakdowns theories predictions hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and follow me on instagram m-o-e-d-o-t-j let's go ahead and hop into it this is episode four of atlanta the recap We start the episode off with Ern at his parents' house. And of course, you know, parents are always going to keep it real with you. His mom comes out and says, ooh, hey, Ern, how you doing? Ooh, I like your hair better than how you used to have it. It used to look all ratty, but now it looks good. So, of course, as a kid, you're like, mom, what are you talking about? Chill, chill, chill. Now, Pops, he's walking by and he's in a hurry. He's talking about, hey, I'm out of here. I'm not going with y'all. And retirement is great. They about to head to church. And Pops, he don't want to go. We all know how it is heading to church. That stomach get the rumbling, you already know it's about to be a long sermon. So Ern is saying, can we stop and get something to eat? But you hear his aunt in the back saying, oh no, just reach in my purse. There's some cough drops in there if you need something, just to hold you over. Ern is just like me. I'm thinking, man, I don't want to eat that food after the church. And I sure don't want no cough drops. Pops is on his own mission. He retired. He's doing his own thing. So what does he do? He's headed to the mall on a Sunday and he's trying to get there early while everyone's in church before the football games come on and there's no kids at the mall. That's how you enjoy retirement. Now there's a lot going on with auntie. You hear his mom saying, man, they sisters tripping. They didn't kidnap grandpa because grandpa got that pension. And if grandpa is living with one of the siblings, they'll get that pension because they're taking care of grandpa. You also hear Aunt Jeannie in the back talking about are you married yet? <laughs> you had that beautiful woman and y'all not married and you didn't left her with sin, basically a baby. Ern's not trying to hear this, especially on a Sunday morning headed to church. I know the feeling, brother. I know the feeling. When they get to the church, moms, she drops off Ern and Auntie Jeannie. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go park the car. Y'all go ahead and go in there. Ern is talking about, Ma, you, you need some help? All you hear her is speed off in the car. She might not be trying to go to church. Uh, mom, let me let me get in that car with you real quick. This Sunday, we got the worship dancers in there. Everybody's in here. They get in the spirit. You see Ern sitting there. He's just looking around. He's wondering where his mom is. So he's asking his auntie, where mom at? Have you heard from her? Has she called you back? Maybe she went to the overflow. And you know, if you go to church and it's overflow, it's going to be a long day because overflow it usually the churches we went to overflow usually isn't concrete overflow you parking in the grass somewhere Ern is worried about his mom so he calls his dad and his dad is like hey don't be calling me i get three hours dedicated to myself and on sunday i go to the mall i get my shoes clean i make some laps and plus i'm picking up a new phone get off my line i gotta get the phone with the night vision on it so he hangs up on Ern. He's just trying to enjoy his day. He don't care what they got going on. We seen him in the opening scene. He just walked by. After the phone call, you see Ern trying to sneak out the back door of the church. Now, Auntie Jeannie, she's waiting. She said, uh, where are you going? You trying to sneak out? He said, no, 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 no. I got to go to the studio. I'm late. She's like, no, 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 no. You're not going to no studio. Where your mama at? Where your granddaddy at? Your auntie trying to steal your grandpa. What's going on here? And Ern is like, uh, I, I'm just trying to head to the studio. Auntie Jeannie, she ain't letting up. She said, well, you know what? It looks like we are going to the studio because I want to know what happened to my father. Pops is just like an old man. My dad does it. Y'all dads do it. Y'all uncles do it. Y'all granddaddy do it. He done went to the mall. He knows damn well he ain't about to buy this Nissan. He looking at it. He inspecting it. He trying to open the doors. They put the the rope up for a reason pops don't touch the car but they don't care they're gonna do it anyway and this is how scams happen this is how all kinds of things happen with the elderly they're vulnerable and gullible this lady is saying hey would you be interested in a hat you look good you got that shape that a hat would fit perfectly on and he's like huh no one's ever told me that now she's reeling them in. Now she can sell them anything she wants when it comes to these hats. Over at the studio, we got Paperboy in there. He playing Uno with our boy Gunna, AKA Wanna. Free young thug, free young Gunna. 
free YSL, even though it's looking bad for him. He's free here and he's playing Uno. And just in case you guys didn't know, you can't put a draw four with another draw four on top of it. Neither can you put a draw two with another draw two on top of it. Those aren't my rules. That's what Uno tells us. Auntie Jeannie and Ern, they pull up to the studio. And she's talking about everybody, even you, Gunner. Oh, them earrings are nice, but y'all need to leave. It's a family emergency right here, right now in the studio. So what does Jeannie do? Al, sit down. Ern, sit down. I'm going to call my siblings. And y'all know, everybody going to have phone together. She's calling everybody. Hey, connect her. Connect her. Y'all listen up. Gloria has kidnapped dad. Grandpa got that pension and everybody want a piece of that pension. So they think Gloria is just keeping them all to herself. Even his uncle's on the phone talking about Jeannie. Theoretically and mathematically, it doesn't add up. She can't kidnap our father because it says kid in the title. He on the grill. He ain't worried about nothing. Plus, ain't nobody trying to take care of Pops right now. If Gloria got him, hey, let Gloria keep Pops. We'll come and visit. Plus, she's the only one that knows how to give him medicine. And Jeannie, she just gets all off track. She's talking about, you know what? I know why y'all don't agree with me. Because all our lives, y'all never liked me because I'm light-skinned. They're like, what? You even see Ern's mom hang up the phone. She's like, um, I'm not dealing with this. And then you hear Unc talking about, you still owe me $800. <laughs> That's how family is, man. We get on the phone and nobody's really serious. We just talk and hey, we go on about our day. Pops only has three hours to himself. He's been caught up with this lady in these hats. Now she didn't let him try on three hats, but then she said, I got something special for you because someone like you, you deserve this special hat. Pops is looking around thinking, you're not gonna get in trouble for giving me this hat. She said, nah, 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 nah. He said, oh yeah, let me see that then. Auntie Jeannie then called the police because she's trying to find her dad. She really thinks Gloria has kidnapped him. Now, when the police get here, they're asking, all right, does your dad, have you talked to him? Do you, do, do you know where he's at? Any information? Does your sister have weapons? Ern is on the couch saying, no, nah, she don't have weapons. Jeannie's saying, well, we might need to think about that. No, don't say that. Don't say that. But she's just taking this to a whole nother level. They end up getting grandpa on the phone and now they're asking him questions. Do you know who you're with? He's like, yeah, I'm with Gloria. They said, do you know what the date is? Do you know your name? So he's answering all these questions. Now he does have dementia. So they say, do you know where you're at? He says, yeah, we're in Egypt. We've been here for two weeks. He was doing so good. Then he just went off the rails right at the end. But everyone understands he is safe and he's with Gloria. Pops wasted his whole three hours, but he did get this nice hat. And now he's looking around. There's kids everywhere. A lot of noise in the mall. Church has been let out. Now I'm with Pops on this. If I'm going to go somewhere, it has to be towards closing or when it first opens. I don't like being around all these crowds. Now some young man in the food court is like, hey, old man, what is that on your head? He's like, it's my hat. So you kind of look like Prince if he was still alive. And I'm thinking, I don't think this kid knows who Prince is because he don't look nothing like Prince. If he would have told me I look like Prince, I would have did just like Pops and said, shit. This kid then stopped him. He's harassing him. And now he's on his knees in the middle of the food court talking about, man, all I want is a selfie, man. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you, please. Pops is like, all right, man. So they take the selfie, but he ain't even looking at it. He's looking around like, man, this is the sh I don't like. Mind you, Ern brought Auntie to the studio. You hear Al talking about you could have went anywhere, but you brought her here. All this commotion, there's police outside the studio. We, hey, we rapping over here. We don't need the police outside the studio. Al, Ern, they got to figure out how to get out of here and leave Auntie. Now, the lady up front says there is a Smurder exit. You know, Bobby Smurder was using it when he had the feds on them, three baby mamas. Y'all could probably use it. So neither one of them want to deal with auntie. Plus she's with the police. She's all right. Hell, she called them. So they sneak out the back and they try not to look back because the moment you look back, she's going to catch eye contact with you and you're going to have to come back. We didn't all done this before. Now the family, they get back together because it's been a long day, very long day. 
they snuck out they left auntie and now they're eating but it's only 5 p.m and Ern and mom he's saying mom this isn't dinner this is 5 p.m so i don't know what you would call it. this is this is in between brunch lunch and dinner i don't know what you would call it but he's saying this ain't dinner pop's day is being ruined kids harassing him the mall is full he got a nice hat but now he's here eating and a young man comes over like more sweet tea she's like oh no pop said man look bring the bill we're gonna get the hell up out of here mom says well we didn't get any bread could you bring us some bread and he's saying well i gotta talk to my manager because we normally don't pack up bread to go and she's saying well you didn't bring us bread the first time pops he's tired he wants to go home he's been out since early early i'm talking eight nine o'clock ten o'clock is when the mall open on sunday so we can say at least ten he's like just bring the bread he wants to go home all right there you go episode four of atlanta real short this episode i didn't really find it too funny let me know what you think about it i mean it was short and it was kind of pointless in my opinion but let me know what you think about it i'm mode ij if you like atlanta hit that like button if you like atlanta hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out